Here's the image, here it comes. <laughs> a postcard from Pluto that stunned space scientists. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was our reaction too. <laughs> Taken from less than half a million miles as NASA's spacecraft hurtled towards the tiny planet, it reveals mountains as big as the Alps on Earth, but these are made of ice. There are suggestions too that volcanic activity could be resurfacing the outer crust. We're just getting so much data soon that we're, right now we're still scratching our heads. The most striking geologically is we have not yet found a single impact crater on this image. We just eyeballing it, we think it has to be probably less than 100 million years old, which is a small fraction of the four and a half billion year age of the solar system. Uh, it might be active right now. Uh, with no craters, you just can't put a lower limit on how active it might be. New Horizons also captured the most detailed image yet of Charon, Pluto's biggest moon, revealing a long cliff around its middle and top right, a canyon that could be six miles deep. Sharon just blew our socks off. There's another canyon on the other side at maybe the 10 or 11 o'clock position, and that one is about three miles deep. There is so much interesting science in this one image alone. The spacecraft's incredible voyage between Pluto and its five moons brought it to within 7,800 miles of the planet's surface. Those images will be downloaded in the coming days. OK, copy that. We are in lock with telemetry with the spacecraft. For NASA, this has been a significant mission. Pluto was only discovered 85 years ago, just a tiny dot in a telescope. Now a robotic spacecraft has beamed back increasingly detailed images that will puzzle scientists for months to come. Thomas Moore, Sky News.